Bob Forrest here with me. Bob and I first met about mid-80s. Yeah, I think so. And he used to visit my show Loveline as an on-air guest. Intoxicated on-air guest. Uh, intoxicated does not begin to describe <laughs> what you were like. It was one of the most magical times ever. Those were the party days. Chili peppers, Jane's addiction, and fishbone. There were drugs everywhere in L.A. in the 1980s. That was the way you lived, period. He was a mystery to me. He always had beautiful women around him. He always had good musicians around him. But he always seemed a wreck. He's a great songwriter. He's a giving good soul. Bob really just seemed like a god to me. Bob's life sort of spilled on the stage, and then it spilled back off stage. Has anybody got any heroin for sale in the audience, please? Like $20 bag of heroin? He's just like this out of control maniac. He danced and sang his ass right off the edge of the stage. I'm like, whoa, look at that shit. That's punk rock, dude. <laughs> Bob is the artist that had all the aces and the trumps and just tore them up. They were comparing me to John Lennon and Bob Dylan. And it was like, goddamn right. When somebody starts to believe the lies that people are telling them, whether they be good or bad, they're destroyed. As soon as I could ask her why he wasn't around, she explained to me what a junkie was. Bob tried a lot of times to quit. I went to over 20 rehabs and tried for nine years. You know, I thought inevitably this isn't going to end well. Then I was mistaken, because it does end well if you don't die. The value of what you went through, it only really has value in sharing with people that are going through that same exact thing. He is now one of the most talented counselors I've ever worked with. Nobody on the planet is better qualified. <laughs> there are so many musicians, especially around this town, who say they they owe their lives to Bob Forrest. You have no idea how many times he's helped my family. You know, he's really, really sacrificed a lot for this. I defend the undefended or something like with drug addicts. I just love drug addicts. He was like the least likely person to become the phoenix. This junkie turned into this angel. What's really above whether you succeed or fail at music is the fact that we're all still alive. And that's an important message.